Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating stories in naval history, the Spanish Navy's F-110 frigate. In this episode, we're breaking down how this cutting-edge warship is rewriting the rules of naval engagement, combining stealth, raw firepower, and next-gen tech into one sleek package. Whether you're a history buff or a tech geek, this is the deep dive you've been waiting for. So buckle up! Let me ask you something. What happens when you combine Cold War-era paranoia with 21st century innovation? You get the F-110, a ship so advanced that it's been described as a floating command center by experts. But here's the kicker. It's not just about power. It's about survivability in an era where being seen means being sunk. Intrigued? Stick around. To understand the F-110, we need to rewind a bit. Naval warfare wasn't always about precision and stealth. Back in the days of galleons and broadsides, it was all about brute force, big guns, bigger ships, and lots of cannonballs. But as technology evolved, so did strategy. By the mid-20th century, navies started focusing on versatility. Enter the frigate, a smaller, faster, and more adaptable vessel designed to handle everything from anti-submarine warfare to escort duties. The F-110 builds on this legacy, but takes it to a whole new level. Think of it as the iPhone of warships, sleek, packed with features, and surprisingly expensive. So, how did the F-110 come to be? To answer that, we need to look at Spain's naval ambitions. In the early 2000s, the Spanish Navy realized its aging fleet of Santa Maria-class frigates needed a replacement. These ships, based on the American Oliver Hazard Perry class, were reliable workhorses but lacked the tech to keep up with modern threats like hypersonic missiles and cyber warfare. Enter Navantia, Spain's premier shipbuilder. Tasked with creating a frigate that could operate in the 21st century, they delivered the F-110 concept. It wasn't just about building a ship. It was about designing a platform capable of integrating future technologies. As Norman Friedman might say, naval design isn't just about what works today. It's about anticipating tomorrow's challenges. Now let's talk specs. The F-110 is no ordinary frigate. At 145 meters long and displacing over 6,000 tons, it's larger than many of its predecessors. But size isn't everything. It's what's inside that counts. Stealth. The F-110's hull is designed to minimize radar cross-section, making it harder to detect. Think of it as the ghost of the seas. Firepower. Armed with a 76mm main gun, surface-to-air missiles, and anti-submarine torpedoes, this ship is built to dominate. Oh, and it can carry a helicopter for good measure. Tech. The F-110 boasts an integrated combat system, advanced sonar, and electronic warfare capabilities. Its sensors are so sharp they could probably detect a fish sneezing underwater. But let's not kid ourselves. This kind of tech doesn't come cheap. Analysts estimate each F-110 will cost around $800 million. That's enough to make any defense minister wince. What makes the F-110 truly stand out is its focus on adaptability. Unlike older ships built for specific roles, the F-110 is designed to multitask. Need to hunt submarines? Check. Escort a carrier group? Done. Conduct surveillance in contested waters? No problem. One standout feature is its use of artificial intelligence. The ship's systems can analyze data in real time, helping commanders make faster, smarter decisions. Imagine having a supercomputer whispering advice in your ear while you're trying to outmaneuver an enemy sub. But there's a catch. All this tech requires massive amounts of power, which means the F-110 guzzles fuel like a teenager with a sports car. Critics argue that this could limit its operational range, especially in remote areas. So, 
How does the F-110 stack up in real-world scenarios? While it hasn't seen combat yet, we can learn a lot from similar vessels. Take the U.S. Navy's Littoral Combat Ships, LCS, for example. They were designed to be fast and flexible, but have faced criticism for their lack of firepower and reliability issues. The F-110 seems to have learned from these mistakes. Its modular design allows for quick upgrades, ensuring it stays relevant as threats evolve. Plus, its emphasis on crew comfort, a lesson from prolonged deployments in earlier ships, means sailors can operate at peak performance for longer periods. Still, no ship is perfect. Maintenance costs are expected to be sky high and some analysts worry about the logistical challenges of keeping such a complex vessel operational. Let's be honest, the F-110 is impressive, but it's not without flaws. On the plus side, it's a technological powerhouse with unmatched versatility. It's also a symbol of Spain's ambition to remain a key player in global naval affairs. On the downside, the price tag is eye-watering, and there's always the risk of over-engineering. As James Holmes once noted, a ship that tries to do everything often ends up excelling at nothing. Critics also point out that the F-110's reliance on high-tech systems makes it vulnerable to cyber attacks, a growing concern in modern warfare. Then there's the question of whether Spain really needs such an advanced frigate. With NATO allies like the US and UK providing much of the heavy lifting, some argue that Spain could have gone with a simpler, cheaper design. The debate around the F-110 mirrors broader discussions in naval circles. Supporters see it as a glimpse into the future of maritime warfare, while detractors call it an overpriced experiment. One major concern is delays. Like many military projects, the F-110 has faced setbacks. Initial plans called for construction to begin in 2020, but budget constraints and technical challenges pushed things back. Now, the first ship isn't expected to enter service until 2026. So, what's the verdict? The F-110 is both a marvel of engineering and a cautionary tale. It shows what's possible when ambition meets innovation, but it also highlights the risks of biting off more than you can chew. At its core, the F-110 reminds us that naval power isn't just about hardware, it's about strategy. A ship can have all the bells and whistles in the world, but if it doesn't fit into a coherent plan, it's just an expensive paperweight. As Craig Hooper likes to say, the sea doesn't care how fancy your ship is. It only cares if you can survive it. All right, folks, that's the story of the F-110 frigate, a ship that's equal parts promise and peril. If you enjoyed this deep dive into naval tech, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think the F-110 is worth the investment? Would you have designed it differently? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your take. And if you want more content like this, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for tuning in to Military Forces Unleashed. Your support keeps this channel sailing strong. Until next time, stay sharp, stay curious, and keep exploring the untold stories of military history. See you on the flip side.